My strategy is break their fucking hearts as soon as possible. That's my strategy. <laughs> Everyone calls me a Mexican fighter. Everyone says I fight like a Mexican. That's why everyone says. So because I'm a pressure fighter, I sit on the inside. I love to bang on the inside. And um, I just go, you know, I love going to war. So um, I'm constantly being compared to Mexican fighters. Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. is one of my favorite fighters. So I use a lot of his stuff on my cutting in. Um, I'd say also, like, I'm very sim I'm a bit similar to Sean Porter as well, where I just, like, you know, um, go in and put the pressure on men and I just throw punches and I make it really, really hard for you to for you for you to be thinking you know i don't give you time to think um triple g you know just that pressure i'm a, i'm a i'm a stalker um pressure fighter so tyson i used to get tyson a lot when i was um when i first started out. i used to do the tyson bob weave a lot but not so much now i do i move my head but not so much anymore um i feel i'm a bit more um a little bit different anyways the blonde bomber style <laughs> well i speak fluent portuguese um, and then because I speak Portuguese, I speak Spanish as well, but my Spanish, I do speak Spanish and I understand Spanish, but my Spanish is definitely, uh, it's not as fluent as my Portuguese. And, um, I always get asked every time I speak Spanish, oh, where are you from? Brazil, Portugal, you know, because I actually speak Spanish with a pretty strong Portuguese accent. My ex-husband was Brazilian. This is going back when I was like 21, 22. Um, and I just took the opportunity to learn, um, yeah, and we used to, yeah, I read comic books every night. There's these um, Portuguese comic books that I used to read every night um, to practice. And yeah, I'm just an avid learner, you know what I mean? Like, um, if I have the opportunity to learn that, then I will. And then because I picked up the Portuguese pretty well, I went um, and I was like, you know what, I want to take advantage of this and learn some Spanish. So I went and traveled around South America, or Central South America, Cuba, Mexico, and I stayed with, um, with Spanish speaking families that only spoke Spanish. So it forced me to to learn and speak Spanish. And at first I actually thought that I was actually like, oh, I wish they spoke, spoke Portuguese. So it was a bit easier. After like a week or so, it was, you know, it, it just became a lot easier. Like I just, you know, went with it. But um, yeah, I mean, it, like anything, it doesn't matter um, when you're learning anything. If you if you dedicate yourself and you try and you, you're consistent, you can learn. You know, everyone's like, oh, I'm really bad at languages, but um. I know I was really consistent, like every every night, and I every every opportunity I have, I I took it to speak Portuguese or, or Spanish. So I can pick a Brazilian accent from a mile away, and you know, because I was around it for so long, and I've been in Brazil like eight times. You know, like I have a lot of Brazilian friends still, so like Brazil's like my second home. Um, I got like a Brazil tattoo. Hold on, let me. But uh, yeah, this is like my Brazil flag tattoo, and um, I've got. Portuguese writing there, which says, uh, Siga seus sonhos, which means follow your dreams. Like, not so much now because I'm a little bit more experienced, but especially when I was learning, like, you had to tell me, like, the exact angles of my feet. Like, wait, am I stepping, like, 30 degrees or, like, 45 degrees? Is the punch on, like, you know, like, a, like a 15 degrees or are we going, like, 90? You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm like that. So, and when I visualise movements, I visualise them with lines and angles and I can see those lines and planes. So, I think that's also what helps me learn really fast um, how to box because my visualization is all like like i draw it with like in my mind with angles and lines um but definitely i wouldn't say my um my st my strategy my strategy is break their fucking hearts as soon as possible that's my strategy <laughs> so like i like to plan things obviously I have everything planned because then i just wake up okay what am i doing today this is what i'm doing i'll look at the time i'm like what am i meant to be doing at this time there you go it's color coordinated everything there when to eat <laughs> when I do my chores, when I'm cooking, when I'm foam rolling, you know what I mean? So that's kind of, you know, I'm, I think it's really important to be organised. Because in my debut, it was really big, um, but it was also big because I snapped my ankle in the first 10 seconds of the fight. Um, and then I got up and I kept fighting with a broken leg um, for another three rounds. And I won that, um, which, of course, was uh, just a testament to me. And it was a tough fight. She was a tough Filipino girl. I took on a tough girl in my first fight um, because it was on TV, pay-per-view, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want these people to look at me and go, oh, look, there's this pretty girl, and the only reason she's winning is because she's she's beating a body bag. But, you know, this girl came to fight, you know? So um, she clipped me, I went down, and um, I snapped my ankle. <laughs> and then um, I was like, fuck this bitch, she's dead now. <laughs> so I just went all out, and I just um, smashed the shit out of her for the next three rounds, but I didn't have my rear leg, so I couldn't put power through my, to my, through my backhand. Um, but I did win on, on points, which was good. I'm a tomboy at heart, and I've always grown up around boys. And, um, you know, I was a mechanic. Actually, when I was a lot younger, when I first left school, I was a mechanic. So I'm used to being around boys, 
in boys' comments and stuff, and boys will be boys. And you know what? It's it's a bit of a laugh, and I've got really thick skin. And if I couldn't handle it, then I wouldn't fucking post it. You know, if you don't want if you if you don't want that kind of like backlash, or you don't have guys like you know saying thirsty stuff or, or whatever, then don't post it. You know, cover yourself up. But I, you know, like I don't care. It makes my day. Honestly, it's so funny. Like I love it. It's so funny. Some of the gifts, some of the stuff people post, like I just die laughing. I just think it's hilarious. Like they just get real creative, and I'm just like, this is so funny. You know, like I, I don't answer creepy DMs and stuff, but yeah, whatever, man. You know, it's 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 entertainment. Like, have a laugh, have a banter. Like, fuck, man. Like, the world's too serious. Like, you can see I'm pretty interactive with the fans on Twitter. Like, um, I I like to interact because I, I love people, man, and I love having a laugh and um. I love to inspire people and encourage people and motivate people. And sometimes just replying makes it makes someone's day. Like it takes me two seconds. And what the fuck? I'm in isolation. I mean, I'm assuming once it gets like I get a lot of followers, I get like hundreds a day, then it might be a bit hard for me to be a bit more personal and whatever. But now while I can, why not, you know, get in touch and, and you know, give my fans something back, like, you know, have a laugh with them or, or whatever, you know. Um, yeah, I'm cool like that. So, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Keep it coming. If you can't have a laugh, then get the fuck off my page. <laughs> yeah, no, just follow me on um, Instagram. Um, I've got a lot of stuff. The good thing about Instagram is you can see kind of what I'm doing daily because I post up stories and stuff. So that's ebony underscore, or oh, ebony, E-B-A-N-I-E underscore bridges. Um, that's Instagram. Then my Twitter is just at ebony bridges. And um, that's where all the banter's at. That's sort of fun, you know, fun jokes and stuff or whatever. Um, I kind of, obviously I'm a school teacher, so my um, Instagram is pretty um, you know, not low key, but my, my Instagram is a little bit not not so wild like the, the Twitter um, because I do have a lot of students <laughs> that follow my my Instagram. But um, yeah, I mean, either way, they're both good. Follow me, follow the journey. As soon as we're back and Corona is over, then I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna uh, fuck shit up and get to the top as fast as I can because nothing stops me. I want to say hi to all the MMA fans. You know, probably not a big boxing. I know you probably don't follow boxing much, but um, if there's one reason to follow boxing, it's definitely for, you know, for me, you want to see some some good good fights. I'm the girl. <laughs> see you later, guys.